We often get asked what our favorite build is, and mine has to be my king bed. I built it years ago, and I still love it so much. Um, but our baby sister's moving back home. Yes, the one we did three shanty house flips for. And I'm gonna be gifting it to my little sister who's moving back to town. We're super excited about that, and it gives me an excuse to build a new one. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm building a DIY king bed, and I can't wait to get started. So I'm going to build the headboard legs first. Now these are going to be um, two by sixes that I have ripped down to four inches each. Um, the footboard's gonna be the exact same, but they're shorter. But I'm gonna go ahead and build these, that way they can be setting up while I build the rest of the headboard before I attach it. So I put the link in the free plans, and again, I've already ripped these on my table saw. So what I'm doing is I'm, Ashley just texted me. So what I'm doing is I'm sandwiching two of these together. This is actually called, sometimes called laminating is another word for it. And I'm gonna add a big glob of wood glue, and glob is definitely the technical term here. Ashley keeps texting me. She can't do anything herself. There she goes again. All right, so I've got these put together, and I am laying them flush. Now, I'm using my Jorgensen clamps on this. I don't have many, but enough to get it done. They are a bit pricey. They're great, though, because you can set them up just like this. So I've got one done. That's ready to clamp up, making sure it's nice and flush on both ends. And now I'm going to do the same with these two. Start clamping. Helps if you go the right way with the clamp. There we go. All right, so I've got those put together, I'm also gonna go add a few clamps on each end and let those dry. So this is the top piece of my headboard frame. And I'm gonna be adding one and a half inch pocket holes down one end of this whole length. But I'm also gonna add two on each side to help us attach the legs later. And I'm just running this through the board. I do like every foot or so. This is actually, these pocket holes are gonna attach our top trim piece in a later step. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll set it up on its end, like this, facing the same way because you want your pocket holes facing the same direction, which is the back of the bed that you don't see. And I'm adding two pocket holes here. Flip it around, whoops, not like that, and add two more. All right, so I've got the top one down. Now my baseboard has, or footboard, excuse me, has the exact same board located at the top, so I'm gonna do another one just like this. These are identical pieces to the ones I just did pocket holes in, but they're gonna be the bottom of both the footboard and the bottom of the headboard. So they only need pocket holes on each end to attach them to the legs in our later step. So that is what I'm doing, just the same way I did with the others. Now we're moving on to the side frame pieces of the headboard. So these are shorter, and each of these is gonna attach to some plywood over here, that we'll do in a separate step, and then it's also gonna attach to the leg. I need to add pocket holes down one side of both of these boards, just like I did with the other pieces. One down, one to go. Now it's time to get these pieces put together. So we are gonna do our headboard first, and you can see we've got our two sides already laid out. None of this is attached. I'm kind of like laying it out um, to show you guys. And then we also have our top board as well. Now what we're about to do is lay the plywood piece in on this open space right here. What I've done is I've added some just scrap pieces because I need it to be three quarters of an inch off the ground. So this is just scrap one by, that I've laid in place, and before I attach the sides, I'm going to get that plywood in place and attach it first. And we're gonna do that by using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws through that plywood piece and into each side. So I'm gonna start by adding some wood glue and then we'll work our way around. Okay, now on my two, um, two by edges, I'm gonna go back with two and a half inch screws to attach them to the top since it's a thicker board. 
I have my top board attached here and I used the two and a half inch pocket hole screws here. I used one and a quarter down the plywood and now I'm attaching the bottom piece. This is gonna attach the same way, but this board, as you can see, doesn't have those pocket holes because we will not be attaching it to anything. So let's get it done. So at this point, we have the entire frame attached, and we are going to flip this bad boy over and start the fun part, which is going to be trimming out the front. Now I'm going to be starting the trim work that I've kind of sketched right here, and what we're going to be using is one by sixes. I did go ahead and rip these down to five inches so that it would kind of um, match the frame. You can definitely use one by sixes at the five and a half normal width, but you do want to adjust your sizes. So I know that I want each of these to be 42 inches long and they're going to be spaced 9 and 11 16 inches apart. So I'm going to go ahead and make four of these cuts and then we'll get them nailed in place. I've got my four first pieces of trim cut and now I'm going to draw out where these are going to be on the headboard. So I know I have them each spaced 9 and 11 16 Yes, correct. Inches apart. So I'm going to start with my first one. Okay, I've got my four pieces cut and now I'm attaching my first piece right here. So I'm attaching this using one and a quarter inch brad nails and that wood glue. I'm using my new nailer. I'll be sure to link to that below so y'all can check it out. All right, first board down, three to go. The vertical boards are now attached and I'm going to start making the cuts for the horizontals. So most of these will be right at nine and 11 16 inches if my measurements are perfect. And I'm gonna be cutting 10 of them. Now we're touching these boards. So I know that I want them spaced 10 and 11 16 inches apart. So I'm just marking that in both places. Adding wood glue, if I can find where I put it, which of course would be on the other side of the world. So I marked it, and now I'm adding wood glue. And I'm gonna attach each of these boards using those same one and a quarter inch bread nails and my nailer. All right, I've got this first one attached. I'm gonna attach the other nine, and we'll be ready to go. All right, so at this point, I am ready to start attaching my legs. So I've got the trim done on the front. I've flipped this over, not easily, because it's an albatross. And I've put my first leg, which y'all can see, ignore my mess, please, right here. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm lining it up flush with the top of this headboard. So it's actually a little off right now. I'll fix that in just a minute. And I'm gonna be attaching that with wood glue and two and a half inch pocket hole screws through those pocket holes and into each leg. Okay, so one thing I've done, guys, is I've added a those spacers, those three quarter inch spacers. I have this whole headboard setting up on top of one, um, on top of two, actually, because we want that amount of spacing on the front and on the back of this headboard. So that puts it up right center with the legs. So I wanna make sure it's nice and flush. Then I'm gonna add a good line of wood glue here, okay? And lay that in place. Make sure it's nice and flush, and then we're using two and a half inch pocket hole screws through the pocket holes and into each leg. Now I am going to add this top piece of trim that we made those pocket holes for, and I'm going to be attaching it using wood glue and two and a half inch pocket hole screws through these pocket holes and into the trim piece. I went ahead and put the uh, one by fours under the legs to set this up because I know I want that overhang on the front and that almost makes me flush in the back. So that's holding those legs up where they should be so I can go ahead and add this piece. 
Okay, so at this point, I'm at a great stopping point for the headboard. So I'm gonna start on the footboard. Now, the great thing about the footboard is it's exactly the same, just a smaller size. So I'm gonna build it the exact same way, and um, then we'll be ready for our side rails. Get excited, people. We almost have a footboard. And I officially got my workout today. Now, all we have to do is add our top trim piece. Yuppie. So, headboard and footboard are done for this point. I am gonna add some cute little buttons here at the end, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the side rails, and that's what we're gonna build now. So, let's get to work. Now I'm ready to attach all these boards. This will be one side. This is a sideboard. I guess it's called a sideboard. What would it be called? A side rail. We're going to call it a side rail. Um, and so what it is right here is this is a four inch piece and that's a three quarter inch piece of plywood that's cut to nine and a half inches wide. That's a five inch piece. And then on each end we will have, um, over here we'll have a two and a half inch piece on each end. So what I've done is I've added one and a half inch pocket holes here down the thicker boards and then these are three quarters of an inch pocket holes these holes right here will help us attach this to the headboard and the footboard while these all kind of attach um, everything to each other so i am going to start attaching I've got everything attached on this one side so you can see kind of the way that I've layered it and I've used different scraps of board to kind of hold it up where it needs to be. So I've got it all put together and glued together. This side rail is done. One more to go. Headboard's done, footboard's done, and I have both my side rails done. So my final step is going to be to add these little wood buttons. I'm going to be adding them to the inside of each of these squares. I just think it's going to add a fun little touch to the bed. Um, I will link to these in the description box below and I'm also going to be linking to the drill bit which is a Forstner bit. So let me show you how this works. I'm adding my wood buttons next and I did find these on Amazon so I will link to these like I mentioned. The easiest way I have found to add these or at least in my mind is to use this Forstner bit. I also found this one on Amazon. I'll link to it. It's a perfect size for these and I've created a little template and I just a piece of scrap wood found center on it, and then I'm also finding center on all these squares. I'm going to put it in place, and then I'll use the Forstner bit through this hole to create a small groove, circular groove, where I will then pop this button in. So, wish me luck. I found center, which is the same on all of these because of the way I designed the plan, and I am gonna go ahead and set this into place. And then I'm just putting my Forstner bit that I've linked to in that place and I'm just making a small notch. So that shows me where the center needs to be. Then I take the template down and put it back in its place on that mark. Now I'm going slow because I don't want to cut too much, but I've basically taken about uh, an eighth of an inch, just a little bit more out of plywood and this bit is awesome because it's super clean i don't know if y'all have used forstner bits before but sometimes they can be um kind of messy but these are awesome and inexpensive on amazon so i'm adding just a little bit of glue actually a good dot of glue on the back of my button now it's sticking out which is what you want because you want a really good fit and then i'm just using a mallet to it into place. So there you go. Wood button magic. So I've already started staining the side rails and I actually kind of made 
this stain using two different stains and I will link to those at the bottom. So I'm using um, five parts of the golden oak and I'm mixing it with one part of the willow gray and then I all you have to do is put it in a bucket mix it together and then I'm going to finish these and get started on the headboard and the footboard. Okay y'all, I'm finished and I absolutely love this finish. It's like the perfect brown gray. It's really light, really neutral. I can't wait to see it in the room. And I've got my side pieces over here drying. I'm gonna let this get nice and dry. And then comes the fun and also ridiculously hard part, getting this beast inside my house. So here we go. Okay guys, I'm so excited. I got this albatross moved in my room. It's so pretty, so giant. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I did the slot system. So I used two by fours that I anchored into both the headboard and the footboard using pocket hole screws. I did two of them running down the center. Those are two by fours. Um, and they also have some two by sixes under. I just used some of the scrap I had from the bed um, to add some extra additional support. And then I've gone with my two by fours and I've attached um, each of these to the cleats using spack screws. These are two inch spack screws. And for my cleats, if I can turn it that direction, for my cleats, I'm using two by fours. And those are also screwed into the side of the bed using um, those spack screws. So now all I gotta do is get my mattress on and take a big darn nap. Guys, I am so happy with how this bed turned out. It literally makes me feel like I'm in a brand new space. It's added so much light to this room and it's probably my favorite build to date. The stain color is perfect. It's just such a great combination with the white on the trim and the gray walls. Y'all be sure to check in in a few weeks. I will be sharing the matching nightstands to this king bed. And I also have a great plan for a media console Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm off to take a nap in my big old bed. We often get asked, we often get asked, shut up. Okay, GoPro stop recording. I said GoPro stop recording. How annoying. GoPro stop recording. Now we're moving on to the side. Let me rephrase. Now we're moving on to the side. <clears throat> They're drying on the, oh, shut up, Whitney. Okay. I, okay, shut up, Whitney. Um, oh. pause. Alexa, stop recording. I mean, GoPro, stop recording.